today. Is, uh, I would like to take the opportunity to thank the, all the owners in Jalan Sultan, numbering about 31 of them, affected because of the MRT construction. I also like to thank Spread and Pasarana. After much discussion, it is agreed that the government would still proceed with the acquisition, but with the condition that they will also strengthen the building which are affected, those that need to be strengthened for the safety of the household. At the same time, when the completion under the ground tunnel, which they think is six months old, is completed, then they are allowed to continue to be what we call business as usual. So to us, this is important because we maintain the identity of Chinatown in Jalan Sultan. Because it is an important tourist and it is also an important historical landmark in the capital city of Kuala Lumpur. So I'd like to thank also the residents who have given their fullest cooperation and understanding in order that this issue to be resolved. When you say the shop will still be acquired, does it mean that... Uh, Not shop acquired. Uh, that's uh, only the underground. The underground area. Because underground. the hours of freehold land. What is beneath, building view on it, or the land belongs to the building. You say belongs to the owner. So what they say, the structure title according to the National Land Code, they can have the structure title for the, the land beneath. Underground. underground. Okay. So the landowners will be compensated for the acquisition of the underground? Not to say like this. Why they are in the progress of building the MRT track, 100 feet down. If the building built on the land affected by the construction, then the residents or the users of the building must move out until after the completion of six months. Then they move it back and do your business as usual. That means not to acquire the whole land. You see, according to the National Land Code, the hours you say yes, when we say acquired means acquired, acquired, the bottom, acquired so that the, the government has the right to the right to the land, land. land. Do the right to the use of the land and the ground. Yeah. That is the main reason. Okay. okay. But uh, will the business owners be compensated because they have to move uh, out? The the they have to strengthen no, the building. The details will be discussed. Uh, the the discuss compensation. The no compensation and because the strengthening if of the, the building, building can needs to be The government out. has to take steps to strengthen the building. But the government has, uh, in the past, they said that uh, ah. they have to demolish the buildings anyway no, no, because no, no, of limestone. No, 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 we, we already, no, no, they are today, not going to the demolish the buildings. already said that we achieved that. You, you know that la the building affected mm -hmm. by the construction, mm -hmm. then the residents or whatever the users must move out from the building. But they were very insistent that they needed to destroy, so... Uh, no. No, 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 no,
A government has to take steps to strengthen the building. So do you think they'll do the same thing for all the others like Bukit Bintang no, and all the things? Why do you think? I think not all. You have to ask the regulator. You have to ask the regulator. We only hope to achieve it. 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 Because why the 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 ones who acquire our land, you know, what happened? I say the question goes. You see, after the tunnel built and the land acquire, are they going to build the building there and then sell it off to enrich themselves? That is not the proper way. But they still, the shop owners won't be compensated if because they have to six months of no business. Ah, uh, that is six months and then they can get their result. I think that uh, now they want to minimize the acquisition cost. You know that they, if they pay, they have to the few pay a few hundred millions for the building. Our like association, even ten million, they are not going to dispose of the building for hundred years. Coming to hundred years. So the six months no compensation. Compensation, we say we, we don't bother about the compensation first. The most important, they are not to acquire <coughs> our land in no, total. Not, not to demolish uh, the building. They are building that they acquire the land. Why are they having to acquire the property? Dr. Porter, Porter, that's all. That's all. That's all. Can we find out if, in principle, government is undertaking the cost for the strengthening and all the compensation? Yes, the government is saying that the strengthening will be able to work out. They will have to work out. They will have to work out. They have to work out. This will all be the technical and the representative. And the residents. By in principle, the government will undertake the cost. Undertake. Undertake. That the government will strengthen the strengthen the building to the cost. We have not the government that is won by the government. So if the government just acquires the underground, underground, that means, because that means the land on the surface still belongs to the owner. It still belongs to the owner. Then you can do as the usual. They are not acquiring the land. Okay, so that means it's, it's, it's uh, structured land ownership. So that's, that's, that's still, the owner is still. Because they, 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 they don't change the title deed to, to so be registered in the government. Title deed is actually under the, the current. Still the owner.